Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Tick. I hate it. I, it's button mesh central time. And I'm in one of these levels again. For no reason. It, it's, it's just the best. Isn't it? Not remotely. Anybody who says that is a liar. Wow, I fell off. Oh, that was the end. What? Was it? What? I'll assume that was the end of the stage and not me just randomly falling through the floor. Oh jeez, is this a- this must be a mini-boss or something. Uh, it is. Because he has the many iframes. Yep, that was a level. If only they could all be that sh What? Did I fall? Did I not f I'm confused. Like, was that actually a... A thing I had to do because I fell? Or was that part of the stage? Like, I appreciate that it refilled my health. Okay. I'm going to assume that that's health, and... Who is attacking me? Is this... Hey, Shapuitan. Yes, it's, it's more of this. Oh, nice. I can just kick him off the edge, and that's it. But yes, we are we are back to playing the tick and oh hey it's Batman well. I know who that is. I think. He's not attacking. Batman well is too good for me. Yes, instead we have palette swapped Daft Punk members. Or at least cheap knockoffs of Daft Punk. P.S. I miss Daft Punk. I was devastated by their uh, termination. 
Yeah, let's go with termination. It's, it's yet another musical group act, whatever, that I will never get to see in person, in concert or anything. Which is a real shame. I literally can't remember the last time I went to a live music venue of any variety. Partly due to the COVID, partly due to the migraines, partly due to poverty. How dare you shoot me? Stop with the shooting of me. I literally can't remember whether this had difficulty settings at the beginning of it or not. I know it had some settings. But if it does have difficulty settings and this is on easy, I hate to think how many hits it would take to kill an enemy on normal or god forbid hard. Thank you for the follow, Dark Regin, Dark Regan, Dark... I'm sorry, I'm bad at pronouncing names. But thank you anyway. I appreciate it. If you let me know how to pronounce it, I will pronounce it correctly.
All right. We have the very short range of American Made. Which is still better than no help at all. This is such thrilling gameplay, mashing the ball tens. It's not even buttons at this point, I'm mashing the same button. It's the kick button. Because kicks are just better than punches. And doing jump kicks is only useful against bosses. I wonder if the difficulty is influencing how long the enemies need to be on screen before they start actually shooting me. Because they will happily just wander around for quite a while before they shoot me in the back. Yes, they do. I think the worst ninja was 10 hits. So we probably have not seen the last of the uh, palette swapped Daft Punk members. some health. Nope, no health. Really? That guy, I thought I counted out nine hits. One of them must have missed. Yep. He was one hit away. Can the stage be over yet? Oh, 
I would very much like the stage to be over. It's still not over. It's still not over. This kitchen's gonna run out of employees. Someday. There we go. Oh, I went to take a drink at the wrong time. I was expecting uh, some kind of screen. A transition, if you will. Hey Manuel, you didn't do anything the last time you were here. What happens if they shoot Batman well? Come on, shoot. Oh, he just leaves. Hey, Joey's cool. Uh, life sucks because I'm stuck playing the tick for probably uh, at least another hour. Well, I imagine the other companions also leave if they get hit, but, like, they also actually attack. So they are helpful to have around. Batman will just kind of exists and prevents you from turning to face left. Which I'm sure is not the uh, intended use of Batman well, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, this game is uh, very, very button mashy. I have not played Doom 3, Joey's cool. I've heard not good things, but I've also heard that it's not as bad as it was said to be, and I don't know who to believe. But also Doom 2016 is a thing now, so why would somebody play Doom 3 when they can play Doom 2016? He's back. If I do El- nope, El and R don't do anything. Can't jump while you have a companion either. So he's just gonna stand there. And not help me.
He punched me out of the air while I was jump kicking. Jump kicking is only good against bosses, apparently. Um, ninjas did not have guns, so they were less dangerous, although some of them threw things, so that was kind of like guns. Ninjas were generally easier to fight, although they had just as much health. But the fact that every suit man has a gun of some variety means that that kind of a thing, getting shot in the back, is much more of a realistic possibility and also a pain in my butt. Oh, if I could grab things, that would be great. But, like, even the very few objects, like stage objects that I can pick up and throw, are terrible. There's so many enemies. I have to believe that this was made as a troll. Like, this is like, uh... What is it? Pen and Teller's Smoke and Mirrors, where it's a troll video game. It's not sincere. Like, they were trying to make a parody of a video game with their... or a deconstruction, but it's just bad. It's not actually a deconstruction, it's just bad. Hey, Lugaboo. It's been a while, and it's been awful. Now I'm stuck playing the tick. And this level's still not over. Oh, now I have Big Nose as a boss of some variety. He was way too fast. Um, you will have to refresh my memory. On what I told you. Can you please just get hit? My goodness. The fact that the bosses have iframes while they are attacking just makes them such a pain to try to fight. And I can't call Arthur during a boss fight. And he's just as fast as me, so I can't catch him if he decides to back away. Oh, yeah, I've had a lot of issues with my insurance company approving my migraine medication. Um, that has finally been straightened out, so I am actually approved for a full year of the injections, and they actually get delivered to me so that I don't have to drive three hours to a specialty pharmacist to get them. Thank you. Uh, it, it was quite a struggle. Much like that boss fight was quite a struggle.
Can I move on? No, I cannot. You still have another hit? Yep. Yeah, this is a this game, Lugaboo is the one. It's bad. What is the tech? Uh, is this he's the big blue guy that I'm controlling? It's kind of a satirical comic deconstruction. Uh, this is based on the uh, Saturday morning cartoon from a while back, like in the '90s. Stopping to cough while enemies flood the screen is a high-risk maneuver. Um, so yeah, they made this uh, video game based on the Saturday morning cartoon, and it's bad. The cartoon's not bad. The cartoon was awesome. Like, check out the cartoon. Uh, the game is terrible. But yeah, check out the cartoon. If you like the cartoon, there's a couple live action adaptations as well. One is stars Patrick Warburton as the tick. That was another 90s thing, I want to say. Um, but like late 90s. And then there was uh, very recently the Amazon. Uh, tick, which lasted a couple seasons, and I can't remember the name of the actor who played the tick. It was Peter something with an S. Peter Safwiski. Peter, I don't know. I can't pronounce it. Um, more notably, however, in the Amazon series of the tick, uh, Arthur's sister, Dot, was played by my sister, Valerie. So you should check that out because she did an awesome job and it was an awesome show and it lasted two whole seasons. And that was it. I can't believe I'm still not done. This is going to take five ever. 
Like, this is the whole game, as far as I'm aware. And I'm on chapter 7 of 15, as far as I'm aware. I have been told this, at least. Ugh. Is this a thing I can pick up? There, I picked up a thing. I will get to throw this once at one enemy, and of course it's the most basic of enemies that did not need a thing thrown at it to defeat it. out through the fence? Nope. Well, that sure is a thing. That the enemies are not stepping on. Come on, enemy. One of you clowns has got to step on that thing, right? Or you can just attack me. Okay, that doesn't do anything to the enemies. But I'm sure if I step on it, a bad thing will happen. That's a bear. Can I can I have an enemy do something to the bear and die? Like can the bear eat an enemy? This is the this is just the best gameplay in the world, isn't it? This is literally the entire game. Well, kicking is better than punching. Like he has a kick and he has a punch. But the punch, it's way too easy for the enemies to get knocked out of the range of the punch. 
That man has a bazooka. That's probably a 10 health enemy. You again! I don't have an, uh, I don't have a, a roof to knock you off of this time. Cannot go back to the bear. Did I find an exploit? Because the enemy has to come up to my level. He can't be attacking during that time and therefore can't have iframes. Oh, never mind, he got through. Well, it was working for a while. And they figured it out. fight that boss a third time. Look at this. I don't appreciate men with the rocket launchers that aren't me. I also don't appreciate you surviving with one hit. game I it's almost worse for not having any pickups really like you will every once every several stages like maybe less than once a chapter there will be a health pickup I have yet to find anything that's an extra life And then once or twice a chapter, you will have the companion thing, which is pretty underwhelming as far as power-ups go. But it's all that the game is willing to offer me. But the fact that there's no, like, health refills or one-ups or weapons or throwables or things like that. And there's barely even any stage hazards like this manhole cover. Again... The stage hazard is maybe once a chapter. Yeah, exactly, Shapuitin. It's barren. That's a good word for it.
it was like there was nothing else to say about this game. We've seen pretty much everything there is to see until we get the next form of enemies. Like, even the bosses are incredibly unremarkable. Uh, Shapuitin wants to know my top three superheroes. Um... It's really just going to be a matter of ordering. And I'm assuming that we're going to be talking about comic book appearances rather than, like, the MCU movies. Because numerous MCU, for example, depictions differ from the comic book incarnations. So, this is based off the comic books. I'm going to say number three is Wolverine, because, I mean, how can you not like Wolverine? The My, my only real issue with Wolverine is, depending on the writers, the, the healing power can get bizarrely stupid, and then, like, I don't even mind the bizarrely stupid backstory stuff that came that comes up uh, nearly so much as the love triangle stuff that comes up around Wolverine. Like that's way worse than flashbacks of flashbacks that are false memories of flashbacks of false memories that they've done in the past to Wolverine. But all the love triangle BS is stupid. Of him pining for women and women pining for him and nobody ever gets what they want or something. But also nobody ever learns a lesson because it's a comic book and they have to keep writing him. It, it's tiresome. So Wolverine number three. Number two, Spider-Man. Spider-Man is another classic, I know. Um has definitely fewer downsides in writing than Wolverine, although they do some really stupid stuff to keep him in a weird adolescent stasis of not being able to develop. Um, but I, that just, again, it comes with the territory of comic books. And then number one is Deadpool, because Deadpool is also, you know, dumb and stupid, but that's intentional now. And they play off of it, and they make a point of it, and, like, that's the idea. So all the stupid writing and cliches are much more purposeful with Deadpool. And also he's cool like Wolverine. With the same, like, oh, he's got healing powers and he's got badass fighting stuff. But, but they, but the right, you're just so much more free to have fun with the character. As opposed to trying to take it seriously or being supposed to take it seriously. Where am I supposed to go? Am I not supposed to go up? Like, this looks like I'm supposed to go up and then back, but I, this is the extent of my up. Am I supposed to go down this hole? Nope, I died, and enemies appeared. What is this? Now I'm allowed to go up. That was very badly signposted to me, the player.
Okay, so there are more enemies to kill. Somewhere. Screw you all. I actually had to jump. There was an actual gap for me to jump across. The it actual level design question mark? I mean, even then it's not much of level design. But at least it was something. Oh yeah, whoever designed this this particular stage was was clearly the iconoclast of the dev team. Like, now I have to wiggle back and forth to make enemies appear. Which shows that even the iconoclast of the dev team was not actually good at his job. Because it still doesn't work. Oh, hey, Zeke Sarai is here. I'm sorry I didn't call out before. I've been busy mashing buttons for my entire life. Yes, they are carrying around rocket launchers. Please just die. Where are you even going? Screw you, you're being rude to me. Am I going in a right to left? Yeah, it's a right to left bad dodge things stage. Don't know how you're supposed to avoid that. These stages are literally the worst. Malik wants me to save state. What? No, why? No. Yep, I'm blocked again. So I have to wiggle around until more enemies appear.
Uh, apparently, after the Iconoclast designed the one level, they fired him. Which meant that they were short a level, so they just reused it. They, they just reused his idea. They said, crap, we can't let that guy design any more levels. He's crazy. But we need more levels. So what do we do? Answer, copy and paste. Which is generally always the solution to the question, we need more levels, what do we do? Hello, Amware. You did not have to, but it's fine that you did. I don't begrudge you a spoon. If I wiggle up here, I can make them all appear on this side. Nope, there's an enemy across the way already. I can see him. Oh, that didn't work. You did not fall off. Uh, Shapuitan, you're gonna have to wait a while for that. Like, probably your entire life. I mean, asking anything in this game to be epic is a mistake. Unless you mean epic in the sense of, like, the epic game store where it's actually terrible and not at all secret about the fact that it's terrible. this in such a way that there's not even a place for me to kick people off the edge of a some of something. I can get them stuck on a thing, which is funny. Because their pathfinding is really bad. Oh my goodness, I used that on an enemy that doesn't die in a single combo. Amazing. It only took to the end of chapter 7 for that to be a thing.
No entry, huh? What's that not have anything to do with anything? There's not going to be like a hazard or anything that comes out of that. Oh, there's the boss. It's Bald Man. Yes, my boy, it's more tick, because I didn't finish the tick. I have to finish. Hence, to completion. I'm amazed I didn't lose my last life. What number are we at? I think this is like 32 or 33. I don't remember. There's a lot to go. Oh, it's just Batman well. It's weird that he doesn't do a single thing. That was not enough hits. That was also not enough hits. Now I can turn around at least. Sure would be nice if health pickups were a thing in this game.
That gives me, what, four continues left now? Oh, now Shapuitin wants my top three supervillains. Okay. Um, and again, I'm, this is based off the comic books. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. I know number two and number one. I'm trying to think of a decent number three. Like, Batman has a really interesting rose gallery, but most of them are not, like, actually compelling characters. At least to me. But, Marvel villains, as you can probably tell from how badly they are done in the MCU movies, are, are not good. Smash a dynamo! Uh, he's not number one. He will be if he doesn't give me Ari Yoshida, though. I'm willing to offer a lot for Ari Yoshida, and he's like, I'm not even going to sure I'm going to put her in the draft. I'm like, rude. Um, let me see. Who's a, who's a, I'm going to pause this for a hot second. I need to think of a number three, and I need to focus and not button mash. Um, man, well, it's your own fault, Mo Boy. We just had the expansion cup thing, you could have made a team for that. Robotnik, obviously. <laughs> I guess I could go outside of Marvel DC, couldn't I? But, uh... I don't know. Who's a Scrooge McDuck villain? <laughs> uh... Oh, you were in the gauntlet. I'm sorry. I don't know. Super villains. Um, you know what? I'm going to go. Number three is Shredder. Because Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was a comic book first. And Shredder was cool. So number three is Shredder. Uh, number two is the Joker because I kind of it's almost obligatory and as much as Jared Leto has ruined the Joker why are these enemies allowed to just retreat faster than I can run uh, the Joker's still an interesting foil for Batman and just really tough to top. But you know who tops him? At number one for supervillains, Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom in the comics is awesome.
Doctor Doom in the movies is terrible, but Doctor Doom in the comics is awesome. So that's my top three supervillains. What did I say? Shredder, Joker, Doctor Doom. You know who's not number one? Button mashing. That's just a villain. Come on, boy. Don't shoot me. That was come on as in come closer so I can kick you to death. did make this game, I don't remember. Somebody who did not know how to make video games, that's who. Oh, not one of these again. Just randomly falling that time, didn't even get hit by anything. to chapter 10 out of allegedly 15. Yep, that's a chair in the wall. Would be pretty cool if I could interact with it in any way, shape, or form. Probably the worst thing about the new DC movies is that everybody who played the Joker did their did a great job in their own way until Jared Leto, who was just bad at it. 
And I don't know how much of that is because of Jared Leto and how much of that is because of bad writing, but... My god. Is that the worst Joker I've ever seen. Like, if you think about it, like, every other Joker was great. We had the Adam West Batman with Cesar Romero as the Joker, just doing, just eating that scenery and loving it. It was amazing. Then we had, what was next? Then we had Jack Nicholson in the Tim Burton Batman movie. Doing his own sort of amazing job. And we had Mark Hamill in the uh, animated series. Oh my goodness, was that an extra life? I actually picked up an extra life. Yeah, a lot of people say Mark Hamill is the best Joker, and that's a completely valid opinion. Hell, any opinion other than Jared Leto is a valid opinion for best Joker. Because after Mark Hamill in the animated series, Heath Ledger just knocked it out of the park. I remember before that movie came out, everybody was like, Heath Ledger, the guy from 10 Things I Hate About You, as the Joker? Are you kidding me? And then, you know, the Dark Knight became the Dark Knight, and Heath Ledger's Joker was Heath Ledger's Joker. And then Jared Leto happened. It's like the dollar store version of the Heath Ledger Joker. And yeah, I'm sure a lot of it can come down to writing and directing, but like, at least according to the press ahead of the release of the film, he was definitely trying to be the Heath Ledger Joker. And he was just bad at it. And then we had Joaquin Phoenix as another good Joker. So, it, it's clearly just Jared Leto. <laughs> Elmero ATV, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. I don't know why we're talking. Oh, I do. No, I, I remember why we're talking about the Joker. We're talking about the Joker because Shapuitan wanted my top three supervillains, and number two was the Joker. Look, it's this boss for the third or fourth time now. Apparently it's this boss for the third or fourth time, but with more iframes. Going off screen is cheating. I'm sorry, people in the chat are saying things and I can't read it because I have to juggle this stupid boss. There we go.
Yeah, I'm not saying that, that Joaquin Phoenix's Joker was like the best Joker. Oh, is this the final boss? Are we at a final, final boss? I can't tell if... Am I hitting him? What's happening? I'm supposed to stop the laser. How do I stop the laser? Okay, I've, I've broken a thing. Yes, I'm still playing the tick, Joey's cool. Okay, I've broken that thing. I've broken that thing. What is still existing to make a laser happen? Apparently that, okay. So I broke that. Time up. Awesome. Do I lose the game? Is this a non standard Nope, I don't. It's not a non-standard game over. Okay, what is left to break? This again. I've broken that again. Let's break this again. Let's break this again. I only lost a life, so clearly not a game over. I've broken that yet again. Let's break this yet again. Hey, that was it. And that wasn't the end of the game. On we go. This is a boss, or a mini boss. Is it? No, maybe it's not. No, it's not. Never mind. So we went from ninjas to Daft Punk to clowns. And all the clowns take more than a full combo to beat, which is making me very sad inside. Joey's cool. How is this the best part of the game, Malik? This? Fighting clowns? Is the best part of the game? I don't believe you. The best part of the game is when you turn it off and don't play it.
Oh, this is a boss. Or is it? Yeah, I think this is a boss, because I can't uh, combo him. He gets iframes. Nope, maybe I can. Maybe the game's just very inconsistent. Am I done now? No. If this if this game were trying, it would be better than this. This is just waves and waves of enemies. This is exactly what I've been doing this entire time. This is not batting a thousand. This is not even trying to bat a thousand or trying to step its game up. True, they're not just all palette swaps.
Now, look, I'm trying to read your qualifying statement here, but it is very long, and I have to keep constantly mashing buttons. <laughs> what is I do do I even want to know what that means? When you get to Pirates of Dark Water you'll have less to say. Like have you played every Super Nintendo game except Pirates of Dark Water? Well, it's probably better than this. I, I say that, but on the other hand, I know that Pirates of Dark Water was a cartoon series, so it's clearly another terrible adaptation into video game form. Obligatory sewer level, yay! More foreground objects blocking the player's view because they think this is a camera and not a screen. Yay! Which, yes, does make this part of this chapter objectively worse than the previous one, so in that respect, Malik is correct. I don't know, I think the fat one had a horn that he could use to range to attack me. So just fling themselves at me. Yeah, that's definitely a ranged attack. Oh, it's those short ones have the ranged attack.
Hey, Draculosity. Welcome to the stream. It's the tick. It's terrible. Don't play it. Ever. Uh, and also, thank you. And F Dick Tree. I think we're pretty much far enough into the stream that I can say fuck. Fuck Dick Tree. I really should get on Twitch and demark my stream for mature, because I don't think swearing is enough to say is for mature audiences. And it probably hurts my uh, algorithmic performance. I'm sorry. A standalone legend who cornered the tread? Who? I have to assume that you're talking about Cybershell's video. Which is how most people find me these days. gotten a, a lot of attention thanks to Cybershell and I appreciate that. I appreciate him. I don't appreciate this game. This game is bad, but if I'm going to play every Super Nintendo game to completion, that includes the bad ones. Oh wait, they're all bad ones. Like, I'm gonna get to the great legendary games that everybody loves, and I will have somehow unlocked the, the secret form of them that is terrible. Where, like, I'm gonna open up Super Mario World, and Mario won't be able to jump, or something. It, 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 it'll be somehow extra terrible. Super Mario World is a great game, but it's not the best Super Nintendo game. Like, I'm going to be ranking them as I go, so I'm going to have to really struggle with what's number one. But, like, Super Mario World is definitely in contention, but so is Link to the Past. So is Final Fantasy VI, so is Chrono Trigger. Uh, I don't think Super Metroid is going to be a contention just because of Meridia slash Wrecked Ship. That was super annoying to do in my blind playthrough some years back. Because it's a shorter game than the other good games. Like, I, I'm probably not going to put too much primacy on game length when it comes to good games. If anything, getting to play, like, Chrono Trigger for several streams in a row is going to be a nice change of pace from awful platformers and awful sports games.
I never really enjoyed the Donkey Kong Country games, I'll be honest. Donkey Kong Country 1 was fun enough, but like... I did not have so much fun with it that I think it needed two sequels. With... baby characters in the cast. Yes, it is. It is a Super Nintendo game. I can't tell if that did damage to me or not. I'm gonna assume that it did. Uh, there's probably more than one terrible Home Alone game on Super Nintendo. There's probably a terrible Home Alone game and then a terrible Home Alone 2 game. Would be my guess. Yes, there's definitely a Stargate video game. There's a Judge Dredd video game. There's probably a Demolition Man video game. What else was a 90s action movie? There's probably a Mortal Kombat video game. That was a joke. Uh, True Lies has a video game. Uh, there was some Stallone movie that was like completely incongruous that had a video game. It was, it was like mountain climbing. Like Stallone was in a movie about my, mountain climbing and they decided since it was a Stallone movie that it could be a video game. So they made a video game of a movie about a man climbing mountains. but presumably like their action games and not mountain climbing games. Mickey's Magical Quest was not a movie though. We're talking about terrible movie adaptations. Oh, what do you bet there's a Carmen San Diego game that's going to take me days to play? There's an Inspector Gadget SNES game, like based on the Matthew Broderick movie?
Are we talking about based on the cartoon or based on the Master Matthew Broderick live action movie? Based on the cartoon. That's not as bad as if it were based on the live action movie. Sweden says it's not unplayable. That makes me sad. That means I have to play it. Oh, I should probably add uh, George Foreman's KO Boxing to the game genie list before I forget. I'll do that right after I'm done mashing buttons. Acrobat 2 was not a good game. But I wouldn't call it unplayable. George Foreman KO Boxing was unplayable. Uh, and I've completely forgotten the other game on the Game Genie list. Terminator 1? Was that on the Game Genie list? I don't remember. I think it was. Yeah, because the driving segments. No, that was Terminator... What Terminator was that? That was Terminator 1. Wasn't it? Because so I beat Terminator 2. Maybe I used a password on Terminator 2. Pretty sure Terminator 1 is the other game on the Game Genie pile. That even with cheats, I could not beat. This is painfully tedious. Someone rated this game 8 out of 10 back in 2000 on GameFAQs. I would believe it. I would believe that some fan of The Tick just rated this game high because they liked it personally.
Yeah, 8 out of 10 is not the game works level. Like, 6 out of 10 is the game works level. Hell, these days, the game works level is more like 7 out of 10, and 6 out of 10 is the game doesn't work. And then 5 out of 10 is the game shot my parents. And then if it would get lower than 5 out of 10, there, like, that's a apocalyptic event. That's the game took over the world. Like, the last time a game got less than 5 out of 10, I think that was the birth of Rock, Paper, Shotgun. When, with the IGN, Kane and Lynch 2 debacle. Is this a liftable thing? Boy, I wish it was, but it's not. Oh my goodness, is that health? There's actual health on the screen. I think. I will save that till after I take a few more hits. Or I will try to anyway. And their fear of holes. I remember the PS5 review about the com about you shouldn't get a PS5 because because the world is bad. But I don't remember fear of holes being involved in that. Yay, health. Still not a thing I can pick up. Okay. Our... Malik has brought up the phrase, the customer is always right. And I have a little rant about that that I want to get out. That phrase has been misinterpreted many, many times by many different people. Sometimes the companies and sometimes the customers who think they are right. And is used to justify all kinds of absurdity. Uh, but the actual origination of that phrase, the customer is always right, has to do with uh, an idea of selling that was more like in the 40s and 50s of when a customer comes into the store and says, I want to buy X. Don't try to sell them Y. Sell them X. You know, don't try to sell the customer something they don't want, is what that means. Because you're just going to sour the customer. Like, even if you, as the expert, as the retailer, or as the whatever, know that what the customer really needs is Y, 
and the customer would be happier with Y. Don't sell them why, because the the process of arguing them into wanting why or taking why from you will just piss off the customer. And they will not have a positive experience of that. So if a customer comes in and says, I want I want this, I want X, you do your job as best you can, you you sell them what they want. And then if they are unhappy with it, because you hopefully gave them a positive retail experience, they will come back to you and be like, this isn't what I want, what's wrong? And then when they are open to an alternative to X, you can sell them Y. And then they will have a second positive experience with you. And you will have, you know, a happy customer as opposed to somebody you called an idiot and berated into buying something that yeah was maybe right for them in the first place but that's not good salesmanship so it is a specific phrase about salesmanship and retail and not treating the customer like an idiot or a child it has nothing to do with customers like always actually being right. It's it's really much more of don't say to the customer's face that they are wrong. And it is specifically about like product choice and things like that. And as far as video game reviews go, there are way more video games than there are hours in the day to play them. And people look at reviews. Like, that's a fact of life. What is this? I am on wedding cake now. I am being knocked off of wedding cake now. I would very much like to get up to this thing and fight it. The explosions of the bomb are behind the layer of the graphics with the cake on it, so I can't actually see what I'm doing. That's amazing. Like, what am I even supposed to be attacking? Is it the clown at the top? Because my god, I can't even get up there. And as soon as I do, a bomb happens and I am knocked back a million miles. Yeah, the nothing is registering a hit. I can I can just fuck off back to the start of the stage. It does not appear that I can attack the guns. Okay, I can attack the candles. I have blown out all the candles. Oh, I can attack the guns. There's just literally zero feedback. Maybe? Maybe I can attack the guns? I could attack that gun in that one specific instance. Okay, the hitboxes are really super jank, as as one might reasonably expect from this terrible game.
Nice. I love the massive knockback. The constant massive knockback. How am I supposed to attack the boxing glove? I don't know. Like, I maybe got some hits? I'd really like... I would really like to get back up. I'm just hearing sound effects, and they don't seem to have any bearing on what is actually happening. Yeah, I don't think I'm hitting this. I think the hitboxes are just super jank. Oh my goodness, that only took 10 years. Now how am I supposed to get the clown? Every time I jump up, I get hit. Well, I got some hits in, I think, maybe. Shot right to the bottom there. Ugh. Oh my goodness, I got a full combo off. Oh, jeez. Look, zero feedback at all on that. And we're in chapter 14. The nightmare continues. It spawned me in off of the platform so that I instantly fell and lost another life. Also, they have a brown line that sure as hell looks like a continuation of the platform. Nice. Nice. Wow. Oh my goodness.
I really appreciate the jump button working consistently. Like. Like. Ah! I'm gonna lose an entire continue just on this stage. Yep. My God. If I get to the end of this and I lose because I spent an extra continue just doing that, what is going on now? Am I supposed to be able to make this jump? I'm going to get to the end of this and not be able to beat it. Because I'm going to run out of lives after three fucking hours of playing this goddamn game. Like, who cares about the health? It's the last chapter. It's not the last level. This is going to be broken up into several levels. And I don't trust this game. And I'm out of continue. So I'm making a safety save. If I get a game over, I'm going to look up cheats first. And if there are no cheats for me to actually use, I'm just going to load the save state. Because I'm not doing this again. I'm not doing this again with a game genie. I'm not touching this game again. This is ending one way or another.
What? Like, is this enemy stuck? Just kick everybody off the ledge, and it worked. Come on. Oh. Really? Another one. See, that one had the courtesy to knock me back to the platform at least.
Nice, let's frickin' That's three lives doing that. Six, what the hell? I was lied to when I was told 15 chapters. There's 16 chapters at least. I don't believe you, Malik. I think this game is like Streets of Camarocho where it never ends. It's just going to loop. I'm gonna get through this, fight what seems like a final boss, and then I'll be back to fighting ninjas again. Yes, please tell me how to beat the boss ahead of time. I'm not going to get to the boss, but tell me how to beat the boss ahead of time.
Yeah, that's true. I'm not sure that this is the actual final stage of the final chapter, though. Well, they're all gone. Okay, tentacles. Well, what is this? You have to kick, jump kick, and punch. And I'll have to use a non-kick attack to hit one of the tentacles. I, I don't think I can actually hit the tentacles. I can't do jump kicks, for one thing. The game's not letting me. The game's not letting me do anything. I am phasing through the tentacles. Oh my goodness, I saw a flash. So that's very specific timing on when you can hit the tentacles. Which is when they are flopped down. When the ends are tipped down so that you can hit the fleshy bit. That's the timing. Like. in the final boss's hurt box.
Wow, that hit me, huh? Yeah, I was screwed there. Okay, let's look for some fucking cheats. There is allegedly a stage select and there is allegedly a skip current level cheat. Let's try it. I set Lives to seven, continues to four, and Arthur's to two. And then press start during gameplay. Allegedly. Nope. Maybe I have to do it in the prescribed order. Oh, I had to hit start on the menu. Uh Okay, now the now the skip level thing works. So here we go, the new TDM, but at least it's not mashing my thumb against the, uh, frickin' X button of my Xbox controller for three and a half hours. That ninja thought it could hit me.
Oh, they've got racketeer helmets. That's what that is. It looks like Daft Punk in the stage, though. I wonder if this will let me skip the bus and just send me right to the end. You know? It'd be nice. Stealing is not nice, but cheating is nice. I think between all the bad platforming uh, levels, I probably burned at least three of my seven continues just on that. Like, continues, continues. So if this was a straight beat em up, I would have just won and wouldn't have needed to cheat. Because I would have had continuous for the boss. I don't see why this is a thing we have to stop. So what if Chairface writes his name on the moon? That doesn't mean he owns it just because he wrote his name on it. Are we worried that someday when we can mine helium 3 out of the moon, that because Chairface's name is on it, we won't be able to? Uh, hello? Controller died. Love the controller dying. Let's just, uh... Reopen that then. Everything is trying to team up to prevent me from finishing this game, and I do not appreciate that in the slightest. Is the game quieter now, somehow? Whatever. You all know what it sounds like. I played it for long enough. I played every level. I'm not dying on every stage. I'm using a thing to skip every stage. When you get to the end of a stage, it counts out your life and you get points based on your remaining life. So because I'm using the cheat to just instantly end the stage, it's counting down my life and giving me points. But yeah, Jokey Public, if you missed like an hour and a half of the previous stream and all of this stream, uh, I played the tick and it's terrible and some bullshit platforming in the middle of a beat-em-up game uh, cost me multiple continues that I could have used 
against the last boss to win legit. And after playing this for so long and getting so close, I have zero compunction against cheating my way to the end. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting all the subplots at once, it seems like. Did this send me back to the start? It looped me! It looped! I looped! Do I just call this here? Or do I go back to chapter 16 and do- and fight the boss legit? I forget how many stages was in chapter 16. I mean, I four, if I have four continues just for chapter 16, I should be able to do it, as, unless there's boat levels. But yeah, Jokey Public, if I get an RPG, I'm just going to play it. And... Depending on what it is and whether it's good or not, I may or may not look up like glitches, exploits, whatever. Um, to to beat it faster. But I I don't intend to skip them just because they're RPGs. Like Seven Saga is gonna is gonna be a pain, and Shapuiden has decided, rightfully so, that this is a bad thing to be doing. Have a good night, Shafuitin. I will... See you next time. At least I'm getting a really high score this way. I, I don't want to patch the games or do anything that you couldn't do on a console. Like, that's why I'm not abusing save states for unlimited lives or unlimited continues. Uh, that's why I'm not doing game genie codes or pro action replay codes. I, I want to do this as much uh, as the console-like experience as I can. And just like, um, I used a save state in Dragon's Lair just because I could get there again just by entering the password and it was just to save me from entering the password over and over. So like I, I entered the password and then made a save state. So when I inevitably died, I could just load the save state as opposed to re-entering the password. And that's where I'm trying to limit my use of save states.
Nice. Did you see that score? Oh, now it's N1. It's ruined. The game ruined the nice score. I'm looking for 16 2, says Malik. Seventh Saga Randomizer. I would bet money that the randomizer incorporates the Japanese difficulty patch. All right, here's chapter 16. So this should be 16 too. This should be where I actually fight the final boss. So here I am again, punching tentacles. Not ducking when I should. having no cadence for the how does
Oh my goodness, I got one of them. Oh my goodness, I got the other one of them. It's the fucking same! It's the same end screen as if you just lose! Right, this has gone on for almost three hours and I wish I was dead. And anybody who else is also watching this probably wishes that they were dead. So let's go die now. I've been Circle Master. And until next time, take care. <laughs>